Talk to me, Damien. Everything I touch crumbles. What do you mean? Everything. Everyone I meet dies because of me. I'm the bringer of death. There is only one who's the bringer of death. God can't forgive your sins. Really missed you, man. Look, I know what I did was wrong. Mag said this show is going well? Yeah. I always knew I was only your friend because of Rachel. I didn't think you would be capable of that, though. I was torn. I was going to tell you. I'm not mad you told me. I'm mad you made it into a show. You have a whole play to do that with. Yeah. I fucked up. I was fucked up. Except I'm here, Colton. I don't know, Damien. I never thought you would actually apologize. <laughs> of course, man. We're still chill. You heard about this Facebook thing? I got an invite like a week ago, but I haven't gotten the chance to ask Nate about it. Some stupid MySpace ripoff. Tom will be my friend forever. <laughs> so the play opens in what? Three months. It's good. I mean, I don't want to sound egotistical, but it's really good. I don't know. I guess I've always known I was like, okay at theater, but 
I really think this is what I was meant to do. Not the, the acting or anything, just the, the creating something new. And seriously, I don't think anyone's ever seen a show like The Last Gas before. <laughs> I cannot wait for you to see this, like, acid movement sequence we have going. It's so good. <laughs> show okay so if we're trying to pander then yes that is the goal but we are not trying to do that our goal is to show these stuck up white theater fucks a story they've been too scared to see yeah an overdose in the first act sure we'll do that that was so good if you continue to do it just like that people are definitely gonna cry jake your death scene was really good too that um that i actually have some notes on all right everyone go home Get some rest, come back tomorrow ready to work. We'll do some touch ups, and then, as Rick would say, we're open like a whore in a hotel. Yeah, he would say that, but you came to my rehearsal. I'm hungry. Okay, you're all free to go. Jeremy, um, can I talk to you for a second? I just wanted to. to say that I'm proud of the work and I'm really glad we've been able to make it up. Yeah, it's good enough with casting director. Yeah, about that. I am um, actually nowhere. I went to school together. She was ecstatic to get a chance to uh, come see my crazy little play. I'm happy for you. Can I get your attention? Can I come close? I don't know how to play this. You know, this could be like a fun. I am right here doing my best to make you feel like I do. And just for a second, you're looking at me, making me feel like maybe you want this too. Give me your attention. Talk to me, Damien. Everything I touch crumbles. What do you mean? Everything. Everyone I meet dies because of me. I'm the bringer of death. There is only one bringer of death.
used to give all I have. So you said that he knows the woman that's coming to see the show? That's what he said, yeah. Wherever I go, Shit, I'm fucked. Say, Shut up. I gotta ruin your chances. No one to blame. Do you think he's doing okay? So Seems to be doing a little better. What the fuck am I supposed to do with this? You're the director, why don't you tell me? No one liked my idea. Claire, if you're comfortable, you can step in. <laughs> fuck, okay! I'm really excited to see Damien's play. Like, it's been a long time since he's written and directed. Did I tell you about the last show I saw? No. Okay, so it was about this Mexican-Filipino brother and sister, and the brother banged the sister's boyfriend. It was something. <laughs> and this show is about what? This show is about Damien's struggle with love and life and loss. You know, for someone dyslexic, he does write some pretty good shit. <laughs> you did nothing wrong, Joe. I needed space. I needed to think about who I am, what I needed. And you needed to do that without me. Yes. Damien told me I rely on men to prop me up and that would be my downfall. Can you believe been nearly a year since we've met. <laughs> we fell in love over the shadows of college boys fucking. This group. This family. And it's about to split. My lease is up in a month. Well, I want to spend at least the first six months in Calabasas. I mean, my stepdad, sister, are gonna need help. Don't get me wrong, Damien is great with kids, but we need more than just him. Did you really want to raise our child in SoCal? Does Carl even have a job for me? We can do six months, but anything longer. I want to raise my kid in good California. Nevada. Dead Rock, Nevada. I've always wanted to be a Calgary. It's a good opportunity. I, I get to run the entire RV park. I know. But everyone's leaving Damien Ray. Megs is going to San Diego. Lauren back to Santa Barbara. Nate and Fox to Europe. Jeremy with his showmance. I, I just don't think I can go. Come back with me tonight. We'll talk about it. See if we can make it work. 
I'm gonna have a cigarette. A lot to think about. I love you. And I need you to come with me. I'm gonna go have a cigarette. You go get me a beer, and we can smoke a cigarette before the start of Damien's ego gas. Sins are tormenting me for my sins. She was going to kill me. What, now you don't talk to me? Where are you? What happens next? Tell me. Talk to me. You failed me. Do I have to overdose for you to hear me? Do I have to stop taking these fucking pills? Am I not special anymore? Forget it. I don't care. I'm done. Let the show begin. Judge me! Good evening, everyone. Uh, I just wanted to say thank you. Welcome to tonight's performance of The Last Gap. Now, this experimental production is a love letter to so much, but really to you know, the love that we all have and the love that all of us. Thank you.
Where am I? You have been unconscious for a while. We have been worried. It all makes sense. Soon. You have been in a medical limbo. Look on the floor. This is a case of God. I admit, I should be a little more scared, but this is for sure not the first time I've woken up locked in a weird room. <laughs> All right, where the fuck am I? I will ask questions first, and in due time, your answers will come. Now, what was the last thing you remember? Don, what is the last thing you remember? I don't know. Don, we don't have time. Tell me what the last thing you remember. Why? Why? Who the fuck are you? Where are you? I don't need to tell you anything. Just let me out. I'm trying to help you, Don. So I ask again, what is the last thing you remember? I was listening to music. Good. Now what were you doing? I'm done talking. You should know. It says you had an overdose. So what were you doing? I was ending it. Ending what, Don? Everything. This crap. Life. This endless feeling of pain. Oh, it's fucking gorgeous. If I wanted to share, I would be inside with all the other leeches. I... You wanted to come over here and flirt and throw your fishy ass smile on my face and hope that I'd give you a line. You won't find me in the fish market. <laughs> Can you believe it? Sky tonight is unreal. It's like magic. It's like some fucking Harry Potter shit. Dude, can we get your attention for like a minute? We didn't come to this party to party, man. We came to see you. Oh, fuck. Okay. Got me. What do you want? Dude, we're getting married. <laughs> yes. Because fucking for months behind your boyfriend's back, you, your best friend, that's going to be a fantastic start to your relationship. You haven't even told your boyfriend that you're not together anymore. Not fuck it. When? Where? How are we doing this? What are you on? I can't even remember anymore, but I'm assuming I want me to be your maid of honor, and I'm in, as long as I don't have to wear a dress, because I'm not that fucking gay. <laughs> Why do you even come to these things? What kind of person would I be if I only parted in Pleasanton? Tired of the white boys with their Twinkie defense in their back pockets. I can see you two little adulterers who want to run away. That's okay, Abby's here. I'm sure she can give me a ride home. Oldsmobile's definitely out of commission. I do not need to see any dragons tonight. It's like my night's gotten better. See you in the morning, I'll pick you up at your usual corner. Here, let me show you the only thing I learned in college. So, who is Ben? Well, I go to Santa Cruz. Really? I was just Ben myself, actually, the last few months. Maybe that's why you look so familiar. And now we're both here. What a coincidence. Or fate. <laughs> I um, I gotta go pick up a friend. So. Well, I usually wait for guys to ask me for my number, but yeah, what do you say? My phone died.
And? Man, what talk? We didn't run off and fuck. Hell, I don't even know how I got home. All I know is when I woke up the next morning, there, my closet door, was his name. There, in Sharpie. It was in Sharpie, that means permanent, right? Somehow in the cloud of drugs, his name and number were the ones I remembered. Sharpie. How many times has that happened? Never. It was like... Fate? fate. That was way more than a mile. It was so worth it though. Us, uh, so you're a track star. You should be used to distance. Just please tell me you have water. I have beer. Continue. What's the point? Talking's not gonna change God's grand plan. Is any of this really necessary? Is anything really necessary, John? You know, your music taste is all over the place. You got Zach and Roger, Scissor Sisters, Pink Floyd, Santana, Pat Benatar, <laughs> Panic at the Disco. That's because Brendan Urie's hot as fuck. Tammy Wynette. R D I V O R C E becomes final today. <laughs> Never heard of Tammy Wynette. Her and Pat Benatar are pretty much my secret obsession. Probably from my mom playing Hell is for Children in the car all the time. Did you just get this from the bathroom? I wish we had video phones and our TVs like that. You wouldn't have to imagine. I don't know. What were you expecting this to be like? I mean, I imagined a castle of beer bottles, a bomb, and maybe some books and papers all over the floor. Who thought that I was a dirty artist who lived in a squalor of booze and cigarettes? No, then, what did we learn the night we met about assumptions? Look, I'm sorry, I, no. I didn't need to assume. I do need you to get the fuck out, though. Wait, what? Yeah. You just pissed me off. Get out of my house. <laughs> yeah. I'm kidding! Oh my goodness. <laughs> Held hands. I made a blanket bed. I grabbed my Hocus Pocus VHS. I believe you've never seen that movie. Held hands and smoked a joint, and at some point we fell asleep holding each other. Didn't have sex, and I wasn't complaining, but it was something I never had before. Did you kiss? No, not till the next morning. How was that? That was magical. Totally all on him. The food you ordered, mademoiselle? Thank you, my babette. Where's Ben? Oh, uh, he's out. Like, out, out. Did you get straight boy high? I didn't get anyone high. Ben decided he wanted to try new things. New things? Dude, tell me he's gay. I have no fucking clue. I mean, we slept together all night and he held me and I actually really liked it. Did you guys kiss? No. Did he get hard? Yeah, but I mean he's 19 and a pillow and a good dream get any 19 year old hard. True. Your parents leave yet? They did. Casa Eldon is about to open for Hollow's Eve. And what did you tell Ben? 
If I told him I wanted to fuck him, why would I be this confused? I meant about the party. Oh, nothing. Well, what time is everyone coming? Around six. There's a bright golden haze on the pot plants. There's a bright golden haze on the pot plants. <laughs> This. What is this? Are you gay? No. Are you bi? No. Then what is this? Like, do you like me? Are we friends? Did that answer your question? No. I'm kind of more upset, actually. I usually make the first move. have sex. I didn't ask if you did. You're thinking it. What makes you say that? I just think it's a little pervy for God to be thinking about me and my boyfriend fucking. <laughs> it's a whole new world I'm always watching. What do you mean? I mean what I said. Tom, there is no need to be hostile. <laughs> there is plenty of needs. So why don't you start answering some of my questions? Like, where the fuck am I? What happened next, Tom? You know, I'm done. You brought me here, Don. It's your answers we need. It's as good as you're ima imagining, but those are my memories. Memories? Tell me more. What do you mean, those are your memories? It wasn't sex, it was making love, and I only had that with Cody. What happened next? We partied, we helped me cook. Rest in our toes and waited for the friends to arrive. the one and maybe I found what you and Joe did. Okay. What would Don say to me? Stop crying, pussy. You're a strong woman and those boys don't deserve your tears. I think I would have used a different word. He's here, you know. You left that girl. No, he's in the backyard crying. <sighs> you talk to him? What else was I supposed to do? I think he's serious about you. As serious as he was with his girlfriend? Ex-girlfriend. 
Look, I think you should be alone. Andrew, we're gonna head out. Vitamins and history books. Psychology in a different way. Where I haven't talked to her since we met. I didn't fucking ask you. We broke up. Great, now I ruined a relationship. And I asked you if I was an experiment. I don't know why I used the word experiment. Because that's what I was when the football team sliced my skin open. Because they wanted to know if faggots could bleed. That's when I knew I wasn't human, but I was a toy for the world to play with. And I felt different with you, like maybe I deserve more. I guess you don't choose who hurts you, who stabs your heart. You have to listen to me. Don, it's not gonna be easy for me either. My dad, my dad's gonna beat me for choosing you. Don, I, ch I chose you. Saying that because you think it's what I want to hear, and it's not. I'm sure you told yourself you didn't like that guy in Oklahoma you're fucking. You're a runner. That's your MO. It's okay, you're not the first person who can't handle me. Listen, I'm not perfect. The whole reason I had my phone turned off was because she kept calling and texting, and because I wanted to be with you. I thought we could I could figure out what this is, and, and I did. But I also kind of got thrown out of the closet. I think I love you, Don. But I am so damn confused about everything. No. You lust for me, and you used me to make yourself feel like you could be okay. I'm sorry. But, have you seen me? We're in LA too. I could get any queen. But there's only one Dawn. Talk to me, Dawn. Or we could just sleep. We don't need to talk. We got a lot to process. But doesn't mean you can't hold me. Don, I need to be held. One act down, one to go. Man, that was good. Like, no joke, it was really good. Do you see that? See what? Never mind. Did you take something? No. Show's trippy enough for me. Hey, show's really good, Damien. I mean, not that I have much to compare it to besides like a, a production of Our Town from high school. <laughs> That's actually one of my favorite plays. I'm gonna go check on the cast. I'll see you inside. So, have you thought about what I asked you? If I drop everything and run away to Nevada? This is
shut you out Baby, I'm the gift that's never given Whoa I don't know what else to say So make sure you stay away Baby, this is war, but no one's winning Whoa I'm dead serious, it's you or me You best believe it This is not a drill This is fear You know what you got